What's going on everybody? This is YouTuber097 and today we wanted to show you the top 5 cheat that probably you not yet noticed or yeah but I hope you not yet noticed because this this gotta be a trick how to do the stuff and we have a trick book down here so we're gonna show you all the cheat and stuff so yes before everything begins make sure you make a world first without cheat and without any village or something I guess it's gonna distract you and it's gonna be a lot of fun too so here it is cheat I'm gonna show you the first cheat okay so because we have a lot of cheat that we need to do we have top five cheat basically many people like this cheat and stuff but I hope you don't uh, I, ho I hope you are oh, how, I, how do I say it I hope you don't not yet notice about all this stuff because it's gonna be a lot of fun okay so here it is Cheat number one. How to turn on cheat even we didn't turn on cheat at the world settings. So, um, yeah, when you turn on world settings, you you basically didn't base. You, oh God, basically okay. So basically, you didn't turn on cheat. That's that's what you want. But suddenly you got some like death or something. You want to get your stuff back, but you cannot turn yourself into game mode one. So what do you do? is this so if I want to set myself to game mode 2 because right now I am on uh, I'm not I'm on creative so I want to say game mode 2 I cannot because I don't have any permission to do this comment but what do you do even if you spam the comments it will it won't work so what do you do now is to get your ESC button and you can see the game and new settings then what do you do is to open to LAN because this is actually a multi you can make this into a multiplayer world but if you want to make yourself into a single player you can just press this open to LAN then game mode should be creative because you are gonna be the admin of this like server or something but a lot cheats on that's what do you do then start LAN world then actually you don't have to invite players to join your game you can just play single player so basically what do you do is to slash game mode 2 then my game mode has been updated so this is how you do this so it is easy simple and also amazing so yeah so this is the way so you can you can even spam the command if you want um, game game mode 2 game mode 1 again so that's how I didn't use any mod as you can see I have no mod loaded if I just want to prove you just go to save and quit title see 1.7.5 with no mods it, it, if there is a mod it, there should be coming out like here okay so just to just to show you okay but when you get back every time you get back to the world it doesn't work again so wanna try it oh god See, you don't have the permission to do the command, but if you press it again, it work. So that's how you do that. Okay, so let's get back to our. Why well, I said game do though? Game mode one. So here it is. Next is the other trick. It's gonna be a server trick. Um, cheat number two: how to get kick out of a server so I know you you probably make a server or something but probably you don't you're not yet um, probably you wanna you're angry to a man who built a server and you wanna do you do you want to do anything for that server for for the server maker to be angry so what do you do is to spam that's the only way to spam and hacked so first I'm gonna show you a server not not a hard server probably a hay server wait for a minute okay um oh god oh god i just show you my password okay um wait so this is an example so i'm on a server right here i'm on kit pvp server and what do i have to do is actually do this slash what do you what do you gotta do is actually what are you gonna do Oh god, what are you gonna do is to slash spam or something. So I'm gonna say law to all people. And what are you doing? Keep on saying law and you got spam. Um spam kick. And that is the way how to make the people rage. Example, if I can do more of that, oh god. 
Now I'm on faction server. So keep on keep on doing that. Then you got bam in a minute. Um but this one what what is the case? Some server actually does this. Please do not repeat the same or similar message. So that is the one to reduce spam commands. So basically, you need to look at the server with with no with no comment that 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 do this. Please do not repeat the message or similar. So you cannot spam on that way, but you can spam through this. You can just get spammed up. So. Yeah, but right now the server actually quite bad. Um, they didn't do too much to spamming stuff. Yeah, I didn't get kicked. Oh, well, probably, probably just good. Okay, but you'll get a warning, of course, spamming chat warning. And that uh, some so some server you are allowed to spam, but <clears throat> when you like spam like a hundred times, it will actually permanently ban you. So you don't want that to happen. Just probably spam three for four times. And just make the server make a rage, and that's how it do. So, let's go back to our little world and show you the next cheat that they that did people choose. Shall we? Great. So here it is. Go back to the third cheat. One block parkour jump with a one block parkour jump without have to jump, just run. So yeah, many people probably not yet notice about this. So I just make this. So what what is the trick basically? What is the trick that you cannot? You just run. You don't even have to jump with that, that blocks. So what do you do? You jump first, then and then here. Oh gosh, I just yeah. But that works. That really works, of course. So it's like this: jump, then then just run. So, um, yeah. Sometimes the sometimes it didn't work because probably your server or something are lagging. But if you're not totally 100% not lagging, you can actually do this by yourself. But Right now I'm quite lag, okay, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so that's for the trick. Just to let you know, you can say you can you can say it is a good trick because you don't have to spam your hands on parkour. So here it is. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again because you know. Okay, so first, what you jump, then run. Yeah, so that's how it does. Okay, let's go back to the fourth trick. To the next. So here's the trick. Cheat number four. Getting more XP from XP bottles. So I'm gonna set myself to um, game mode two. And what I'm gonna do is actually this this actually didn't do much. So example. Example if you just do it like this. Like you're just throwing all the XP bars at, at the bottom here. You only got 13 XP, but how about if you do it slowly? Okay, we will we will we will just kill ourselves first. Okay, um, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, get get us our stuff, uh, but we gotta kill again because I still have five levels. I don't know why. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to get that X. I don't want to get that XP. So here, so I'm gonna try it slowly. So, boom. Boom, boom, slowly. And by the way, you need to stand on one block and put your XP in the block, or do not put like you have an XP, but do not like throw it over there because it will not actually real work. So 13 levels for that. Let's see for this. Will this even work better? Six levels. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, well, I guess it's a little bit more many, but yeah, um, so just now from the XP, I guess it's over there, but now it is more many, so it's about like 100 more XP better than that, and also, of course, of course, so that is the way, but, but somehow, you need to be really, really slow, like, one, Two, three. That's how it does because I'm actually quite too fast. So yeah, that's the trick. And I was gonna show you the last trick. This is the most important trick, probably, or you are if you are a if you are a destroyer. 
Sheet number five. Best TNT position. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do with a cobblestone. Because cobblestone is actually not really doing damage to TNT. So, basically, TNT. Uh, so, I'm going to make this block over here. A little platform. Um, a little bit more big platform. So, best TNT position. Um, so, you know, the TNT, you need to position to do some TNT blowing stuff. So, right now, as you can see, um, as you can see here, we have a lot of pillars in here and stuff. And what is your best position of TNT? So, you don't want to put it over here, because it's just going to blow up till here. And it's just gonna blow up this little pillars down here. And if you noticed, if you, this is the most crabby patty trick or the most stupid trick, do not put ever TNT on the side because you know it will not work. I'm gonna need flint for now because flint and steel is the most important part of TNT. They gotta blow up the flint and steel lever. So what you're gonna place down is to place it in the middle or between this. This same equally. So, I'm gonna say, if this is the middle, two of these blocks are the middle. So you just choose, basically, onto this block. What do you wanna choose? Basically, I will choose this, because, basically, this will worth more. Then, then count this back. One, two, three. Count the front. One, two, three. So what are you gonna do is to, just to place it in the between two or between three middle. And after that, power it up. Then, then let me see what this does. Great, some cobblestone fell down. Let's see how many cobblestone break. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. But if you put it over here, let's see what it does. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's the best way of this top 5 cheats. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. My name is YouTuber097 and as, as peace out, I'm going to show you a peace out video. Peace out as well. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Like, like that comment in the description below. Hit that like button. I'm sorry. Then subscribe me, of course. Let's re let's see if we can reach 50 subscribers because I'm gonna be a subscriber. Yep. Enjoy this video. My name is YouTuber Zero Nine Seven. Enjoy. Bye bye.